Hi, did you know that Nintendo Switch has got a recovery mode where you can perform a few tasks that are specifically useful if the console is not functioning properly or acting up in some other way? The recovery mode can also be used to factory restore your Nintendo Switch should you for example be locked out of it due to a software bug or something similar or as a means to try and fix a switch that's not booting at all. The recovery mode also has a neat little function where you can factory reset all the system files to their initial state, but keep all the user account information, game saves, etc. still on the console, something that we're also going to go through in this video. To access the recovery mode, you first have to turn your switch off if it isn't turned off already. To turn the switch off, just press and hold the power button and then select power options followed by power off. Now with the console off, press and hold both the volume up and the volume down buttons. Keep holding them and then push the power button once. When you see the recovery mode menu, you can then let go of the volume buttons. In here we have three options to pick from. The first one performs a system update, something that can also be tried to solve any software related issues with the console. The second one let us factory restore all the system files while still keeping our user data intact on the console. And the third one performs a complete factory reset that removes everything from the console and also unlinks it from your Nintendo account until it's linked back again. In this case, we are going to factory reset the console without removing our user data. Bear in mind though that this will delete any game data that is being stored on the console. So all games saved to either the internal memory or to a micro SD card will have to be re-downloaded after the process is completed. If you want to perform a normal factory reset, you can instead select the restore factory settings option. Here, please refer to this video that is basically the same thing, but with the factory reset process started from within the normal console system menus instead. With that out of the way, we click restore factory settings without deleting save data, read the fine print and then select next. To start the factory reset process, we then push the big red button. The actual reset doesn't take that long in this case and after the console has restarted we then have to go through the normal setup process and give it access to network information etc. We are also presented with a warning that our micro SD card must have some files associated with the old installation removed to be able to work with our new installation of the Switch operating system software. This will however not delete any save data, screenshots or videos that are stored on the micro SD card. Then after another restart, we are finally let back into the Switch console again. That is now looking a little more empty than before. From here, we then have to download and reinstall all our games and updates we want to have. But as we can see up the top, our user accounts are still there along with game saves, game videos, etc. And that is about that for this video. Thank you for watching and please share any thoughts or questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Have a nice day. Bye.